Okay, hi guys. This video is on a conversion that I have done to my iPhone 4S. It's one that I actually completed myself. Um, first thing you should note is if you do actually want to do a conversion yourself, you really need a lot of patience. It was something like 25 screws I had to take off just to get the screen off. Oh god, it's, it's a nightmare. I actually ended up breaking one part and they had to send me another part. Uh, but anyway, here it is here. I'll show you from the sides first. It says it's from the left hand side. Bottom. Now, I thought I should mention as well, the colour that I've got on just now isn't actually the main colour that I was supposed to have, but the company ran out of the colours that I was supposed to have. And they just sent me this one until the other ones come in in a few weeks. So we'll start with the back. Now the back has a screen protector on it, so does the front. Now the scratches that you can see are actually the screen protector and not the actual thing itself. I mean look at that, it's terrible, all the scratches. But this colour on the back is the main colour that I'm meant to be getting for the front. So as you can see it is a shiny blue, so you can actually see yourself in it. Uh, it comes with the flash diffuser. And it's just a really, 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 really nice blue. I love it so much. And we'll scoot round to the front. Here's the front. Um, the front is nice, but it's not as nice as the colour I was going to get. Uh, well, in my opinion, anyway. Um, so, there we go. Speaker grill. Up at the top there. And your front facing camera. And home button of course we'll get a close in of the home button there we go cameras finding so hard to actually focus because it's so reflective and as you can see for from uh, as you can see with this case well not case the actual glass it actually the colouring goes over the the L C D as well um now I'm going to discuss a problem with that, um, which I don't really like, but some people might not be as geeky as me and actually mind this problem. But it actually causes some um, light loss, if you know what I mean. It means that your screen um, is, is a bit darker because it's having to come through the colour, if you know what I mean. Um, so there we go. As you can see already, it looks a bit dimmer than what it should be. Um, it looks a bit dimmer than what it actually should be. See the colours a bit darker than what it is supposed to be. So I'll go into settings where you can actually notice. See it's got a slight tinge, a tinge with it. Um, but I mean it's not a major, 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 major issue. But I mean if you don't like that sort of thing then you don't. <laughs> I really don't like that sort of thing, but um, it is a really nice case. I keep saying case. It is still a really nice conversion um, because even in bright sunlight, as you can see, I've got a really bright light on, as you can see up up, up there. Um, you can still see your screen perfectly. And yeah, so I just wanted to show this off, guys. Now, the company that I got it from is called um, Zetron. Uh, hold on, I've got a card here from them um, that should be here. Ah, there we go. So, if you want this done, you can get the parts sent, and I'll do it for you if you want. Um, you can get it in red, pink, white. If you've got a black iPhone, you can have it in white. You can have it clear. Um, you can have it all, all different colours. Um, and it's not cheap, guys. It's not cheap. Um, for this conversion kit, it was something like 180 quid. So it's not a cheap thing, but the reason I got it done is because I've had an iPhone 4, and I've now moved on to the iPhone 4S. I'm just uh, bored to death with the colour of it, um, and I really just wanted something different. Like, I mean, how many colours of iPhones are this are you actually going to see floating about? Not very many. <laughs> So guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.